So, are you a winger and want to take your game to the next level? They want to dribble past more players, score more goals and get more assists. Today I'm going to show you exactly how to do that, so stick around. We're gonna go over 3 most important skills or attributes that every winger needs. I'm going to tell you how you can improve each one. But before we get started, like the video and consider subscribing. Check the description for cool stuff like 30 training session ideas which also include uh, some winger training sessions and if you're a winger and want to improve this off season, check out the winger training program it's currently still 50% off. So the first thing that every winger needs to be good at is dribbling. More accurately dynamic dribbling because being a winger is all about speed. Uh, so you need to improve your linear dribbling and your changes of direction. Linear dribbling is your ability to go as fast as you can with the ball in a linear fashion. And changes of direction are how fast you can efficiently turn and change direction with the ball at your feet. So to improve your linear dribbling, do a drill like a 10 meter there and back. It works on acceleration, deceleration and it teaches you how you can control the ball at speed. You can also do a drill like a 20 or 30 meter sprint with the ball. Now for changes of direction you can do drills like a T drill, short T drill and pro shuttle. These are all very sharp and dynamic drills that are gonna challenge you and really improve your dynamic dribbling. Okay, number two we have dribbling moves or more accurately 1v1 dribbling. This is extremely important for the wingers. It's what really separates you from let's say a fullback. So as a winger you need to be able to successfully take on players 1v1 and create space for a shot or a cross. You improve this by improving your skill moves. So here's a simple progression. Start with just the ball and some open space then add cones and do a dribbling move at cone and then final progression is 1v1 versus an actual defender. Now this is by far the most effective drill so if you want to you can just skip the first two progressions and go directly to 1v1 versus an actual defender but if you really want to improve your technique and comfort on the ball as I would recommend start at the beginning and then progress accordingly. And the last thing all wingers need to be good at is shooting and crossing. So if you think about the best players today, most of them are wingers who score a lot of goals. So if you're a winger and you can score goals, you're gonna be a very desired player. Every team wants a winger that can score. So it's very important that you work on your shooting. And with shooting I would recommend that you focus on two things, efficiency and technique. Pick some game realistic scoring situations and practice them. Make sure that you really focus on efficiency, so be accurate and your technique. And if you're consistent, this training is really going to translate into the game. As for crossing, start with simple stationary cross. Here we're working strictly on your technique and accuracy. When you get comfortable and you feel that your technique is good enough, so when you can take, for example, 10 good stationary crosses consistently, then move into something like a moving cross. Start with a drill like a roll to cross and then progress into something like a dribbling move to a cross. Okay, this is it for the video. I hope you found this information useful. If you want to improve your dribbling, 1v1 game, shooting and crossing, check out our winger training program. Again, it's still 50% off. Next video, we're gonna go over how you should train this off season so you can really improve over the summer. Have any video ideas, comment them down below and I will see you in the next one.